My wife says that I have basically less than 15 minutes. You have three minutes. Three minutes? Yes, sir. Good, I can get it in three minutes. I can make everybody mad in three minutes. I'm coming here to talk to you about the track. The previous school board in the year 2000, the turn of the century, are the reasons the track at the middle school is the way it is. Okay? Because they oversaw the project to put a track in that had on it 440 yards. I saw the blueprint. Should have been 400 meters, period, or 400 yards, but it wasn't. So that got all screwed up. And for two years or three years, I was browbeat into not discussing that openly. That browbeat's over with. I will start discussing that openly, why it took place. And I'm also going to tell you why I think it should be at the middle school. Pretty simply put. I've been doing track for, good lord, running college, running high school, had a ton of success. If you do the middle school track, you mill the track, put down the new one. You probably do it in two days. You don't have to tear up the fence. You don't have to re-landscape it. You don't have to rear up the irrigation that you've got. You don't have to put new bleachers into anywhere else. Mill it and redo it because it's 40 meters too long. And my math skills tell me 400 meters can fit into 440 meters. Plenty of room up there. Any of you been to a track meet lately? Levi, you've been there. We go to a meet, they might have 60 tents. Where are you going to put 60 tents with athletes at the high school? The middle school? Plenty of room. Plenty of room. So I'm telling you here in front of that camera, putting it at the middle school is the best thing to do at the high school will be the second disaster that a school board has made in dealing with a track. And like other people, if you got any questions, I'll gladly ask, answer them. Not ask them. I'm because tomorrow night we'll be determined whether you six or me or somebody else, whoever's on the school board, we've got to take care of our kids. If our biggest problem is getting them from the high school to the middle school, or whatever you guys are going to call that, for track practice, not a problem. I've done it for 14 years as the indoor track coach. Never a problem. We only have problems when we say they're problems and we make them problems. And for some reason, we're getting pretty good at that. And I'll tell, I'm going to tell you guys this, and if you don't like it, I really, I'm, I don't want you to dislike it. When you have a meeting with people, don't refuse to answer questions of the people you're dealing with because you're only embarrassing yourself in the school system you work for. Answer everybody's question, whether you want to or not, whether you like it or not. Because believe it or not, 90% of the people in this county are behind you. 90% of them don't know what we're doing. And I'm pretty well connected in this school system, and I don't know what we're doing. I think we gotta communicate better. That's why that track is 40 meters too long, and I could not run a track meet there for 20 years. Right, Levi? Right. Any questions? And that's as nice as I can be without me being me. I, I do have a question. So how would you, you said 400 meters fit into 440 meters? Yes. So what would, when, how do you fix that? Well, first of all, you're going to have to mill it up. You know, all you know what milling is? Absolutely not. I have milling, no John, if I'm correct, is you, you use something to, to mm -hmm. just go rip up the old track. And then just measure it out and set the new track right on top, right where it was. You don't have to rip down a wall or a fence. And you've got eight lanes instead of six. I did a proposal, I think it was for Randy Tucker, showing them that I could make between twenty-three and $30,000 a year if I held three invitationals with an eight-lane track up there. And you want to do that because then you take that money and put it in a cubby hole to cover the track and every five years refurbish it so it doesn't fall back on the community. The track can pay for itself. The track can actually pay for itself. Does that answer your question? Yes. It'll fit. Okay. So you basically would have to... You'd have to have all different kinds of crazy finish lines for different events. Like right now, that's what you got. 1,600, 1,600, all those things. So they wouldn't finish in the standard place, you would just... No, you'd, right now you finish in the same standard place. You just start, like when you run a mile, you start over on that side of the track and run three plus laps. You run an 800, you start down there and run one and a half, one plus lap. Are there other tracks in Virginia that are 
that are like that or with that? No, we're blessed with the only one like okay. that. I hear every place I go, oh, you're Umstead from Allegheny. You have the largest track, the smallest track in Covington, and the worst track in Allegheny High School. Yeah, I do. But we're still somewhat successful. Our kids deserve better. I agree. That's all there is to it. And I really believe that $2.1 million, you can almost, I believe you can cut it in half plus if you put it at the middle school. The only thing you, you don't have to tear up a fence, you don't have to do anything except mill it and lay it out. It's flat land all around it. I'd like to go up there in five or six years and see 60 tents up there for an invitational meet we're holding. And buses filling up uh, Mountain View's parking lot. And about 2,000 people there for an event. They will come. They will come, but we need a good track. And you can't do it at the high school. You're too, you're too it's not landlocked, you're too mm -hmm. locked in with other things there. And it's only going to be six lanes. This will be eight. This is an eight-lane track now. If we could find a way to take those 40 meters out and just leave it there, we'd be fine. And it's, it has not been touched in 40 years, has it, Jacob? I don't believe so. No, there's only, and there's only one bad spot in the corner where, they, where it's coming up. 40 years in the middle school? No, I'm sorry. 20 years in middle school track. Oh, okay. It's yeah, been there. I don't think it's really been used in that time either. Well, it's been used by indoor and outdoor track team for years. I mean, I was there for... Give me double the time. Did you? So I'm done? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Alstead.